So my church, like a lot of churches, has a tradition uh, of having Christmas poinsettias. And every year my family takes one home. We didn't pay for them. We didn't, you know, dedicate one, but there's always someone in the church who doesn't, who paid for one but doesn't actually want to keep it, and so we always And every time the poinsettia has died by February. And this year I was like, listen, I want to take care of this poinsettia. Lo and behold, this is the poinsettia. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten living leaves on it, including three? Four that are turning that um, vibrant red color. Actually, I think this one's pink, but you know, that bright color we associate with poinsettias. And this poinsettia is alive and it's almost April. But it doesn't look so good. It's only got ten living leaves and none of them are huge and it looks pretty dead. And this poinsettia has almost died twice. One time due to a lack of water, and the other due to a lack of both water and sunlight. And yet, here it is, kicking it, fighting it. And I think I am like this poinsettia. Um, because I keep kicking and keep fighting. And Whatever has been thrown at me has not been enough to stop me. Um, there's a bastardization of a saying that I love, which is, um, that which doesn't kill you only delays the inevitable. Or it's what doesn't kill you only delays the inevitable. And there is some truth in that. Death is coming. Death is coming for all of us. And depending on how you view post-death, if there is a post-death, uh, that's either terrifying or just whatever. But death is coming for us all. And we live our lives, whether we acknowledge it or not, in the pre... In the... What, what am I trying to say? In the increase of both the quantity and quality of our life. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. I say I want to die a lot, but I don't. Otherwise, I would have seen fit to die before now. And this poinsettia does not want to die. It could have given in, but it hasn't. And so, it's kind of refreshing to see this plant, this plant, sitting on my desk by my window, kicking it, because even if it's just a plant, we're in this together, and that's kind of a really cool thing. I hope you have a great day.